People are quite often intimidated by the idea of cloning, but it's a simple procedure with your sunlight shed cloning chamber. The two systems we sell, which include cloning chambers, are the Cool Cab and the Caddy. Although they are slightly different, they perform relatively the same. Clone plants will always have the same genetics as the parent plant. Therefore, if you find a prized flower or plant species, you can preserve it by taking cuttings and making clones of the parent. Another advantage is knowing the sex of the clone is the same as the parent. Clone plants also shave a few days off your cycle time since you don't have to wait for the germination of seeds. Another advantage is some people will often sell or trade clone plants with other growers. If you have the caddy system, then your cloning chamber is built into an external reservoir that has your light fixture and fan pre-installed. The caddy cloner holds 60 organic cloning plugs. If you have the cool cab, then your system has a pre-built cloning chamber in the upper portion of your unit. The cool cab includes a humidity dome, whereas the caddy does not require one. The cool cab holds 12 more clones than the caddy for a total of 72. To use your cloning chamber, simply place the black plastic tray in the top of your cool cab and turn on the fluorescent light on a 24-hour cycle. Then take your plants and cut roughly a 3 to 6 inch plant cutting at the base of your plant growing terminal. There should be 1 to 3 leaves on each cutting. Place the cutting into your Olivia's cloning gel and insert into the organic plugs provided. When you have taken all your clones, spray with spray and grow or purified water and place a humidity dome over them. Remove the dome every 48 hours to allow for proper breathing. When you see roots growing through the bottom of your plugs, your clones are ready to transplant. For the caddy, repeat the same procedure, but instead of a black plastic tray, the cloning plug tray will sit inside the bottom of the reservoir. On both systems, make sure the organic plugs remain moist, but not soaking wet. If the hole in the center of your organic plugs isn't well formed, then use the eraser end of a pencil to push down the center one half inch. If your plants are wilting, spray them with spray and grow more frequently. If you have brownish roots, then your organic plugs are too waterlogged. You need to drain the bottom of your reservoir and let them dry up a bit. If your plants are overgrowing your humidity dome and you aren't ready to transplant them, you can trim them down a bit. Note that when buying clones, make sure it is disease-free as this is a very common problem.